this is Murray Carter from cartercutlery.com and uh, it's our delight and pleasure to bring to you a series of videos uh, filmed on our recent trip to Japan last October. After having lived and worked in Japan for 18 years as a traditional Japanese bladesmith and then moving here to Oregon in the United States and then working here uh, for five years continuing on in the traditional Japanese bladesmithing custom, uh, I organized a trip in October to go back to Japan and it was my intention there with a new video camera to capture a lot of the sights and sounds of the traditional Japanese cutlery industry. I wanted to share that with my audience because uh, as you know uh, a description in a newsletter uh, only goes so far so with a video camera we really wanted to show you the unique skill sets and knowledge that the Japanese cutlers have attained over centuries of traditional forging. So, you want to Tokyo, Seamus? This is it. How do you like it? It's awesome. I love yeah. Tokyo. Yeah. I took four guests along with me, and that was a, a real blessing. Uh, besides their delightful company, as uh, three of the four had never been to Japan, uh, I got to take them through as a tour guide through Japan and you just eat? in many ways it opened up my eyes to many things that after living there for 18 years and speaking the language fluently I had learned to take for granted. So I got to see a lot of things about Japan you know from a, a, a new visitor's perspective and was blessed by many well why do they do that or how do they do this and uh, I was forced to really examine uh, you know certain tidbits of knowledge that I had taken for granted a in the uh, challenge of answering their questions uh, I learned a lot myself so in the following videos we're going to take you on a, a guided tour it's not a complete tour but it should give you uh, a good taste of what the Japanese cutlery industry is all about we're going to journey uh, from Tokyo uh, where we visited with uh, a man who's extremely knowledgeable about the custom knife industry in Japan. His name is uh, Okayasu and he has a store uh, there in Tokyo. We visited with him. We then are going to travel to uh, Shozaburo Scissor Factory and we have quite a bit of footage there uh, where I got a chance to work right alongside of the, the, the Grand Master and uh, company uh, president himself. And then we move along to uh, some of the finest cutlers in Osaka, Sakai, Osaka, Japan and we'll be spending some time with Mr. Shiraki possibly the finest bladesmith in the world and we'll be spending some time with uh, Mr. Ashi and his uh, factory and uh, uh, getting some great interview time with him and uh, followed by a trip to Mr. Mamiya who makes uh, custom made uh, Japanese knife handles of all styles and configurations then we'll be taking uh, continue our trip up to uh, Seki City, Japan, where we attended the annual Seki Knife Show. We also got a chance to visit the Seki Sword Museum, which was absolutely out of this world. I, I can't believe I've been to Seki for eight or nine years in a row, uh, I think maybe a few more, and I'd never been to the Sword Museum. It was really fascinating. And some of the finest displays of swords there, some of the finest uh, 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 static displays, as well as we got to attend a live forging demonstration. And we'll be bringing you some footage of that as well. From there, we uh, made a few other side trips. Uh, we made some side trips to some restaurants, some sushi restaurants. We've got some footage of just walking along the crowded streets of uh, Shibuya and some of the more uh, it interesting uh, scenes of Japan. And we'll be bringing those to you as well. So stay tuned and enjoy. This is Murray Carter from cartercutlery.com.